I can't handle the pace that everything around here is happening. It is chaos. I am getting battered here because I've got Stugatz hurting. Mm -hmm. He's had to take care of his mouth for many, many years. It's his career. He had never has. He's afraid of the dentist. He didn't want to go yesterday. And finally, he is taking care of his mouth, which is filled with cigarette smoke. Yep. Because he hasn't taken care of the thing that he needs to take care of to protect his career. And yesterday... He finally got something taken care of. Did you go under general anesthesia? Were you totally under? You were very scared about the whole thing. So I went I went with the expectation of them taking one wisdom tooth out. She had to take two out because she needed to take two out to get to the gum. She has gum work to do. That is next week, okay? My dentist needs to fill a cap, which he can't do unless she took the second wisdom tooth out yesterday. So I had two taken out yesterday. I was not knocked out. I just was numbed up a little bit. Uh, Joe Thomas, you claim to be a tough guy. You are not. I did what you were afraid to do. Okay? Joe Thomas said to get knocked out. Don't even think about it. I went with the local stuff, Dan. It was good. It was fine. I haven't had a cigarette since 2.30 yesterday afternoon, right before I walked into that appointment. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm craving. I'm in a bad mood. I am in a foul but, but, mood. And drugged up. And, and, and I'm drugged and up. And in pain and might have to leave early. We've called in Amin. Amin is a separate set of problems. Right. Amin is a... What's wrong, Billy? One thing at a time. Why would you have to leave early today? You said you're feeling fine. I mean, once these meds wear off, it's going to be a, uh, a different game. Okay. You know? And let's just get ahead of this now because you said you need gum work done next week. What day yeah. is that and what time is there. that? The gum work next week. I actually have a follow-up next week, Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the gum work the following week. Why are you laughing, Mike? Because of the chaos. That I have it right here. here. Wait, here wait. Cards, you're, uh, you're unleashed. You. Wait a minute. Mike is they laughing. They give you appointment cards. They're nice. Stugatz. This is nothing new. Look. Stugatz. Mike Let Ryan. Me, let's just. Give, I'm going to make a copy of this. Just take a picture of him. Yeah, take a picture. Yeah. Let's do this now because I believe I know why Mike Ryan's laughing. I'm not totally sure I know why Mike Ryan's laughing. I believe it's because football season is about to start. We're a dysfunctional family. We, we are really dysfunctional. Billy has two kids. The joy has been sucked from his life by this job and chasing around God bless football. Yeah. He wants to just take care of his kids and be a dad and he's got to chase Stugatz around the world and I think Mike is enjoying the chaos that is the partnership of God bless football. They they own it together. They are in partnership. It's a monster skyrocketing success. Stugatz and Billy together on God bless football but Billy hates what Stugatz does with they need the season starting next week. Stugatz is having all sorts of mouth surgery that's going to make him waste, slur his way through interviews on God Bless Football. What time's your follow-up next week? Uh, I think 2.30. 2.30, and what time are you going to need to leave <laughs> 2 the show? 2.30, wow. What, what time are you going to need to leave the show? Uh, I should be good, full show, you next think? Thursday. I'm off Thursdays, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. why I made it for that. Yeah, that's yeah. why you made you it. You gave me off Thursdays. Are you, are you right. doing a dentist pun on purpose? What do you mean? 2.30. Uh, no, favorite no, time. no, I no, wish right. I was that smart. That, was, that, yeah. that, would, that would have been, he's drugged up. He's not quite himself. That would have been the way to do that. But I mean, you should see all the drugs in my backpack right now. You want some? Well, this is one of the problems that I have. Thank you, Billy, for bringing in all of these copies. Of, How are you uh, so shiny? So oh, some of the drugs. Uh, here are all of his Drugs. appointments with Randy Korn and Robert J. Miller. He's got a lot of uh, nice plug. He's got a lot. Get it for free. You should you cost should, me a couple of grand yesterday. This is what you I mean. should do. This is what you you should so. do in the chair. You should do a live spot for these guys and their dentistry. You're afraid of dentistry. You should do some commercial work while you're getting sedated and ruining your career. Somehow winning, <laughs> somehow winning while not taking care of your mouth or your career or yeah. God bless football, which you and Billy own together. Yeah. These, uh, there's no way he's making these appointments. What do you mean? There's no way you're making these appointments. Go ahead. Go through. All right. So you have an appointment that is allegedly at 9.15 p.m. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 
I'll be sleeping <laughs> then. That can't be right. <laughs> yeah. That can't be right. I'll be it, asleep. It's, it's, a clean, it's a cleaning 9.15 Put it, put it on the poll, PM. please, Juju, at Levitard Show. Have you ever Long had a dental too. cleaning at 9.15 p.m.? <laughs> has anyone, has anyone ever had, has anyone ever had a dental cleaning at 9.15 p.m.? Also, just looking at a calendar, which is what one does when they make appointments, these Thursday appointments that you have on the 20th and 27th are both on Wednesdays. Oh. Oh, and they're in the bad. middle of the show. Huh. Uh, so Mike, 927, 8 to 10, Mike, I will not be here. I it's want, a long cleaning, isn't it? I, I, I want mean, it, two I, hours. I, Jesus. I, I need to get hey, Dr. To, Korn, let's go. Stugatz, football season is about to start. Yeah. Our numbers jump through the roof like everyone's does when football gets here. I need to get to Jessica and Lucy on college football because they're really excited, and you should be really excited. I don't know what the sport is going to be in 10 years. Because you can't be this greedy about everything, can you? And still keep the charm of everything you were. But maybe you can. Maybe we love football that much that we'll dispense with the fraud of regional identities and be like, yeah, we pay our guys the most and we get the best athletes. These are all Wednesdays. Yeah. They're all Wednesdays. Yeah, but one's at night. I mean. <laughs> Okay, so after hours this, cleaning. This is one thing that I'm dealing with. This, this is one thing I'm dealing with. And next Thursday's appointment is actually next Tuesday. Oh, really? Yeah, but in the afternoon, Billy. Can you guys, can the shipping continue? Look, man, it's been a rough, rough patch for me, okay? Can you guys help me not have the business ruined? by everything that's happening right now around here, where I have Stu Gotts, God, God bless football, and it's a monster success, and it's, bre it's great that it's produced by Billy, and they have a partnership that works. That hasn't been signed yet. <laughs> yeah. They're waiting around oh, months, no. months for that paperwork. Yeah. No. We have no ownership yet. Yeah. Yeah, his workstation right now is a mess. He's got appointment cards and Powerball slips I'm everywhere. Up. Oh, yeah, I got to check the Powerball numbers. That's right. Yeah, let's find out if he's never coming back. What was the first number? He he has been, uh, the last two days, he's been trying to get the $387 million that allows him to retire because he hasn't been retired Honestly, for the last three years. The Powerball is his, most, my ass off. It's his most sound get-rich-quick scheme yet. First number four. Put it on the poll Ooh. at Lebetard Show. <laughs> I have a four. Is uh, I have a four. Is the Powerball scheme, uh, the, the, what'd you call it, Jessica? The, uh, the the most honest way for him to arrive at get rich quick. Yeah, this is the most sound. Uh, the second. That number. was Mike who said it, not Jess. Yeah. Second. Yeah. Yeah. Similar voice. Second number. Same, yeah. Six. <laughs> I have a six. Yeah, but is it the But not same? matched up with a four. It's matched up with a two. I have a four and a 16. The dramatic, That's close. The dramatic, right? the dramatic <laughs> intention, tension of this needs to slow down. You need to slow down. I do want to learn whether or not he's retired. He would quit, right, on the spot? Nah. 55. Double nickel? Billy, you don't think that, that if he wins. He's never leaving. You're stuck with him, man. Mike, were and you're stuck with me, Billy. Mike, oh, were see. you indeed <laughs> laughing at Billy headed into co a God bless football season with this, with this happening? Yeah. <laughs>
what the hell happened when Amin and Izzy were in charge? What happened between them? Why hasn't the show discussed it? Why haven't they apologized? Why haven't they explained it? So that's what I'm dealing with over here. It's not just drug stugats. Mm -hmm. It's not just Adnan that's late. It's Amin and Izzy when the show is left in their care doing something. I don't know what it is. I haven't talked to him about it. I haven't talked to Izzy about it. But everyone's demanding that I comment that I speak on behalf of Metal Arc Media, and every time I leave the show with a meme, who's doing good work at Metal Arc Media, something like this happens when he's around it. Something. I don't, I don't, I mean, we got David here, so I'd rather do that than talk about whatever it is that is. I don't mean to punish you in public or reprimand you in public, but what am I doing? Like, you're supposed to help me. Everybody came down here. Dominique and Izzy, and I mean, flying in to help Dan. Izzy didn't have to fly in. To help Dan. Every, Dan's hurting. Quick drive. He took and, the bright line with but, Chris, but, actually. But, and I'm getting train, huh? all weekend, Lebitard, when are you going to comment on what happened Thursday? And my response is, what happened Thursday? Izzy shoes ruined the mood. That's what happened. Yeah. Mm. I still don't know what happened. Wednesday. Who was here Thursday? I went to the Cliffs of Moher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it right, man. <laughs> All right, Jesse. Go. Adnan's not here, and and we'll get to David's movies in a second. And but but go ahead, give me something on Ireland because you've been changed by this experience. You are you are an altered human being. I had the most amazing. It was Dan. It was the trip of a lifetime. Me and Lehman, seven days in Ireland. We went to Galway. We went to the Cliffs of Moher. We saw Connemara. We saw the Barack Obama Travel Plaza in the middle of Ireland. <laughs> we went to plaza. Dublin, and we saw Notre Dame beat the crap out of Navy, although I do respect the troops. Yeah. It was oh. just the best time of my life. Wait, what I happened mean, in rugby? Oh, Notre Dame lost to Navy 78-0 to in rugby. Oh, wow. Navy, Navy won the weekend, oh, it sounds like. Yeah. On aggregate. Navy, yeah, very European of you. Navy are the defending national champions in rugby. They were very good. Couldn't see a thing. I love when the rugby guys, by the way, when they pick each other up, it's so cute. When they're like, oh, nip, like, and then they catch the ball really high up and then they <laughs> drop them. That's the cutest thing in the world. I love it. I love rugby. Dan, it was just the most. I ate French fries for dinner, mm. French fries for lunch, <laughs> French fries for you breakfast. You can do that here. They have no. so. No, there's no. French fries everywhere there. But they call them chips. Why? I don't know. And I don't care. I loved it. And I came back with this beautiful. Beautiful mm. Irish wool blanket that I took a wonderful nap in last night. Dan, it was the time of my life. Thank you to On Location for sending me and Lehman to Ireland. I had a the blast. <laughs> they sent Liam? <laughs> Lehman, not Liam. Liam, wow, that's a, that's a fine. To blast the past. Yeah. The, the, speaking of the cutest things in the world, David Simpson is wearing the most adorable polo right now, and it is nothing personal merch. Travel to the website right now and get you some nothing personal merch. <laughs> Salute to my brother David. All right, you know, you know what? I'm growing. also available on Cameo if you want. Yeah, okay, if we're Me gonna too. if we're gonna do Those it that way. Those are drying up, huh? Okay. If <laughs> uh uh, got one right now. Really? Got an active one. Are the cameos indeed drying up because you missed uh, just money that was laying on the floor, perhaps, all over Cameo? Perhaps they're all subscribing to my. Exclusive X account at Michael Ryan Ruiz for less than a cup of coffee. Atta and now, boy. same handle on Instagram behind the paywall. You we can do the same thing for me, but I never post anything. <laughs> People still pay. That's a terrible You can ad. pay me to come to your country and do social media content for you. I just have to bring Lehman. <laughs> the thing that I want to do right now is because Adnan has soiled what this segment is supposed to be, Cameron Diaz, it's Cameron Diaz's 50th birthday. Uh, today. The big 5 -0. Happy birthday to her. I don't care. Good luck. We are going to get to top five Cameron Diaz movies of all time. But I would like Juju, again, I don't know why you felt the need to do that, but perhaps because you're forever helpful. You're always supportive of everybody. You decided to sell, you endorse the fashion choice of David Sampson. The highest honor around here is for Juju to say what you're, he rarely says it about anybody around here, what you're wearing looks good. Dan, he was trying to get us back on track because you now have four minutes to get to two top fives and you weren't the polished professional there. Juju was. <laughs> it is Adnan's fault and Amin's fault and Stugatz. I can't do the show under these conditions. Rapid fire. Let's go. Sampson, number five. 
the holiday. <laughs> Which list is this? <laughs> the terrible one. Yeah. The what Holiday was... <laughs> is a great movie about changing places and realizing that you can find love. Adnan, what There's was going to be a theme? What was that scene? What was that sound, Adnan? That, that, that was an audible. Oh, like uh, it kind of like um, it's not quite the exhale that Andy Reid does when he's urinating, but it was a similar <laughs> feeling of disgust. Adnan, your mic uh, is not plugged in. You're a disaster. This yeah. That's two weeks in a row. Disaster. You know, you know what? We're terrible. only getting Sam's in top five. Penalty you're box. Out get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get, get, no, you're out of here, wow. cinephile. You hoser. No. Terrible. Get out of here. Smoke a cigarette out of my butt. Yeah. Come on. Get out of here. Whoa. <laughs> I tried it. I would not suggest it. Rails. I had two teeth activated. Come on. Now. Video, He's kick him out. Ending the microphone is working by talking into a microphone that's not even on. Get rid of it. Punctuality is your neck. everything. Got get him out of here. That's Samson's top five only today. I can't mm, believe it. Gangs of New York. Let's get Gangs of New York in. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> There's something about Mary. Anytime really? you can have a comedy with Ben Stiller and uh, Brett Favre, you're doing something right. It was funny. It changed hair gel forever. There's something about Mary, number four. Gangs of New York, speaking of the Irish. Number, number three. Jesus. Shrek. Rare for me to put an animated movie in a top five list of anybody, but I could picture Cameron Diaz. I could hear Cameron Diaz. An Eddie Murphy vehicle, to be sure, but Shrek, number three. It's a Mike Myers vehicle, but yeah. Number two. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, maybe this might listen, be. Maybe hold the, on. We're on the clock. Yeah, hold yeah, on. Go. The reason I say this is because this is a movie segment you're supposed to do opposite Adnan, but he's irresponsible, unprofessional, uh, useless. You, just fundamentally useless. How is he still here? Kick him out. Check. Uh, no, check. I'm back, baby. I'm Cin out of here. C cinephile. Check out Cinephile. His while, list is better. While it lasts. Cinephile, uh, check, check it out. Uh, we're supposed to be doing a movie segment between the two of you, but because he's not here and his sound sucks, I have to turn to Amin here to do the movie segment. Your objection was what to what Samson just oh, said? Oh, no, he said it was a, he called Shrek an Eddie Murphy vehicle and it was a Mike Myers vehicle, but Eddie Murphy definitely had a nice supporting role in it. Important sidetrack. Next because number. Because we've got a new movie podcast. Good, we had one. we had a podcast in Cinephobe. Yeah. What's that? No, it's it's no longer here. But 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 David, I'm interested in hearing the rest of your list. Huh. If you want to talk like Michael Caine, <laughs> number two. Has if to you work. want to talk like Michael, Caine. Vanilla Sky. Why is he still here? <laughs> why is Ad, why is Adnan still here? <laughs> if you want to talk like Michael Caine, <laughs> this is not a, say this a few words at a time. You can't do that every week, Adnan. No one cares. It's old. It's as old as he is. Get his you ass. Keep me up. No, turn his sound off. My punchline was so your pot. microphone has to work if you want to talk like Michael Caine. Yeah. Back to you, David, with a phenomenal shirt. Number two. And the number one Cameron Diaz movie of all time <laughs> is What Happens in Vegas. What? Wow. That's a movie where two people end up by circumstance of money having to pretend they're in love with Dennis Miller as the judge. It turns out they're not in love, but then they fall in love, and that is my kind of story. That movie is awful. No night and day. This makes Dennis Miller's work in Monday Night Football <laughs> Emmy worthy. That's how bad this movie I can't is. believe you're number one, Samson. I can't believe that you like that movie. That's I've watched that movie 50 times, maybe more. Oh, I love how it makes me feel. Jesus. I am genuinely stunned by that. <laughs> that movie is dog. Okay.